strange as it sounds, my uh, first contact, I guess, or exposure to Chinese culture was a TV miniseries by the name of Monkey Magic, where I got to uh, obviously meet Pigsy, Sandy and, and, and Monkey. What are you doing? Uh, Peking duck. Yes. Oh, great. Yes, you like. I know that you like it. 上星期的婚姻无国界，四对夫妇和我们分享了一些家庭秘密，并且再一次证明了，就算在看似开明的时期，要得到接纳，始终还是要赢得斗争。It's more of at the individual person level. This week, we proposed the question: What is the meaning of being an Australian? What is the meaning of being a Chinese? Why do we still care so much? 对 Dawn 和 Richard 的儿子 Leo 来说，中国和英国都不是他的家乡，在两种文化背景下成长，对他而言是再普通不过。To him, just like everything is come natural. Yeah, and all the things I'm do doing may be different from father, but for him, he wouldn't think that's the culture difference. For him, he just say that's the mother different. And father is different. Mother and father are different. Yeah, it's nothing to do with culture. 成人可能会选择看中西方明显的身体和文化差异。反之，孩子们活在一个更加简单的世界。婷回忆着当时她在墨尔本郊区上学的日子。I guess there were still small little groups, even amongst you know kids, that did seem to be skewed towards your ethnic background still. So you would have you know your Aussie skips, but you know at the time in primary school you don't really realise that it's used in a derogatory way. Just just use it as a reference, you know. And isn't until you grow, you know, you get older and you realise, oh, that was actually not a very good way of um calling you know calling someone. I think when I was quite young, I didn't really、uh, have any friends or, or know anyone that was、uh, Asian.、Um, when I got to high school, though, I had a few Asian friends. In primary school and high school,、um, I guess I didn't really have that many um, negative um, experiences. Just you know, a little bit of teasing here and there, but nothing、um, that I would consider outright bullying or, or, or racist or anything like that. One of the minority Chinese people within within my primary school,、um, it was a little bit hard, you know, being the only person, and、mm. I did experience a little bit of、um, teasing and, and racial vilification and that. Did carry on a little bit to my early high school years, and sometimes even with cultural identity, it's also you know aside from where you're born,、um, it's also you know where you grow, where you grow up,、mm. and you know the experiences that you have and the people that that are around you and how they do really shape you.、Mm. Someone asked me, "Who am I? Am I Australian? Am I Chinese?"、Mm. I was like, "I'm actually Australian-born Chinese. So I'm both." 来到澳洲生活对马萨拉来说。代表着一个机会，让他可以远离本身的捷克文化。We try to go to the Czech community house and try to look for some Czech people, but what I found at the time is too many old people, and wasn't really for me. So, in a way, I moved away from the Czech culture 
and you know little by little year by year then I, I think I blended into the Chinese culture more than to anything else <laughs> maybe in the past it was Chinese <laughs> 虽然澳洲对自己的多元文化社会非常骄傲，但要是相信歧视并没有蓬勃的在奸细中生长，就太天真了。尽管如此，心理学家 If Ash 认为歧视并不是无可救药。I think racism is a disease that for some people is curable and for others is so ingrained that it is just Very difficult to change people, but I think it's very important to not write people off because they make racist remarks, because they seem very bigoted. I mean, they're the people that can be turned around. As a member of a multicultural meeting website, Rob Thompson thinks that personal contact is the best treatment. Especially when a child or grandchild in the family is、uh, intermarries to someone from a different culture, then instead of、um, it being, you know, that race, it's someone with a name. I think there are times where racism can be something that actually pushes the couple together more to defend their own, you know, livelihood and the decision that they've made. And I think there are times where the racism is so intolerable that they are better off cutting that person from their life. Because if you have a negative force constantly in your life, on a daily or a weekly or an ongoing basis, you know we only live once. With the prevalence of social networking, Facebooking, etc.,、um, you know it's it's global. It's it's.、Uh, Lots, lots of mingling going on, and uh, people, um, I think they get when they get to communicate and connect with people、um, on a one-to-one -one basis.、Um, the, those perceived barriers of, as you said, race,、uh, religion, etc., they start to melt as people realise that they've got a lot more in common. My understanding about Western culture has been changed a lot since I meet. Western person, people in person. So I had no idea about Western people. All I learned from a newspaper, newspaper or television. Myself, before I met him, I did have some kind of stereotype of、uh, Western people、uh, towards their relationship. Claire 的婆婆 Norma 生长在塔斯马尼亚郊区，一个几乎是以白人为主的环境。对他来说，最大的差异不是文化，而是个人。Two people that come from English backgrounds, English homes, live in the same street, and they can be very different. We we know、uh, the society is is、uh, um, formed by the family unit, yeah, and. So, if the family became a multicultural, that means the the society will become a multicultural. We have a tendency to judge other cultures by observing their own culture. They often use their own experience and knowledge to judge that culture. Yeah, and that is not often. It's just not right. That's correct. They could be more like you than the people that live up the street. As far as values and outlooks, and and aren't values more important than than skin colour?